What's up, everybody? It's your boy Shondi. All right, so I've decided that I'm going to be doing a, a, a sort of a series whereby I will teach you guys something about the marketplace, right? So in this video, um, it's going to be lesson number one. All right. And now in this lesson number one, I'm going to be talking about market structure. Okay. I'm going to be talking about market structure, not institute, not institutional market structure, just normal higher time frame market structure. Okay. Now I'm going to keep it nice and short, nice and short and nice and simple, right? Here's how it goes. Okay. Now we understand that we have a bullish structure and we have a bearish structure, right? Now, whenever we speak about bullish structure and bearish structure, we can understand that when it comes to a bullish structure, we have higher highs, higher lows, okay? Higher highs and higher lows. And when it comes to bearish structure, we have what? Lower highs and lower lows, right? And what we effectively are doing is we buy over here, sell over there, buy over here, sell over there, right? Or maybe using lower time frame candles like one hour, four hour candles or the chart, we can get in sales over here, we can get in sales over here, we can get in sales over here, and we can also get in buys, right? Now, the understanding behind this is that we need to know exactly what the particular trend is on the higher time frame, right? Now, when I say trend, I mean order flow, okay? We can clearly see that order flow is bullish, it's making higher highs, higher lows, all right? So whenever we understand that the order flow is actually bullish, what can we do? What we can do is we can look for buys to sells. And when we are looking for buys, right, around over here, we are looking for price to make a new high relative to that. Relative to this entire range, we are looking for price to make a new high, right? And we want to be getting out over there. At the same time, whenever price comes back lower here, we want to see a buy to make a new high. Right? We want to be seeing a buy in order to make a new high. But that is a bullish structure. That is bullish structure. That is how you can operate within bullish structure. Okay. Now, what about bearish structure? So, for a bearish structure, we have a high, lower high, high, lower high, lower high, low, low. I'm sorry, low, 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 low. Right? So, it's high, high, lower high, low, low, lower high, low, 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 low. Right? So, we are clearly seeing bearish order flow. Now, whenever it comes to bearish structure, all right, it can be fractal, it can be 15 minute bearish structure, one hour bearish structure, four hour bearish structure, anything, right? Okay, anything. You don't know exactly what, what that particular structural point is and what the current order flow is, right? So, whenever we have bearish structure, we can sell at the highs to get out of the lows. We can sell at the highs until a new low is made. So, in this case, what can we do? We can target the low plus some pips down, right? Because we know that the, the next lower low is not going to be formed exactly after the most recent low has been taken out. We, it, 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 it will basically expand a bit more, right? So that's the premise behind it. So whenever we are in bullish structure, you want to be buying at the lows, expecting new highs to form. And whenever we have bearish structure, we want to be selling at the highs, okay? With confirmation and whatever you want to uh, look for in price. You want to be selling at the highs to look for a new low to form relative to the overall range. Okay, now that is market structure. Okay, not institutional market structure. That is normal market structure that you can use to direct or to understand certain uh, contextual frameworks within price. Okay, you can understand contextual frameworks within price with regard to structural delivery. Okay, overall structural uh, delivery. All right, so that's the main thing behind it. Now, if I want to show you some examples, all right, I'm going to show you some examples. Let me I'll quickly delete this. If I were to show you an example or examples, right? Look at this. If I take you to the one hour, it's a one hour. Okay. Look at this. If you zoom out like that, okay, if you zoom out, what can you see? From here, you had bullish structure, right? So we had I. High, high. So when price comes back down, what are we doing? We are buying, expecting a new high to form. Okay. Now see, when when this one hour structure completed itself, okay, when this one hour structure completed itself, it technically went into a higher time frame structural point or a higher time frame 
point of order flow in which it was primed to reverse from. Okay, it went to a high high time frame structural point and a point of order flow where Nasdaq was primed to reverse from. All right, so how how can we really understand that fact? We have a four hour. Okay, four hour. What's been happening? We have a high low and a low. Okay, we have a low low. We have a lower high. And then if we sell from up over here, knowing that the high time frame structure is bearish, what can you do? Simply target this low. Okay. Simply target that low. And lo and behold, look at what price is doing. It's going, it's retracing, right? It's retracing. Now, it's retracing. Okay, it is retracing. Can you see at any point over here, over here? Was there any significant shift in structure? Was there any significant shift in order flow? No, right? There was no significant shift in order flow because there's liquidity over here. What about over here? There is no significant shift in order flow. But now what about over here? Over here, there is a potential shift in order flow because you can see this low has got clearly taken out. This is a structural high. Okay, it's a fractal structural high. The price takes that out. What have we formed? We have a high, we have a higher high, and now what we're going to form is a higher low. And that's the start of a new segment of bullish order flow. Okay, that's a potential start of a new segment of bullish order flow. Now, how can you confirm this fact? That's the question. How can I confirm the fact that this is indeed uh, a potential shift in structure or shift in order flow over the daily? What can we see on the daily? On the daily, we took out an old low right there. Yeah, right here, you call it a part of an old low right there. And price is retracing. Okay, price is retracing. Now, if you look at the daily, I look at structure on the daily, what do we have? We have we have this high, we have this low. There is higher high, and now look what happened. This changed, right? Over here, we broke. Higher high led to a new low. Now, now you have a low and a lower low. So what are you looking for next? You're looking for a lower high. Here's a lower high. Targeting what? This low. Okay. Now, 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 now what? You have another lower high. Another low low. What are you going to do? Target this low. Now what's going to happen? If you want to see a significant change in structure, you want to see a break above this now on the daily chart. Right? Meaning what? This is just a potential inducement. Price will go up and then start targeting the low. Okay. So this is how you understand structure. Okay. Start with the daily and see on the daily. Okay, are we going to be bullish? Are we going to be bearish? You know, what's that bullish structural point I need to be looking for? What's that bearish structural point I need to be looking for? And all that good stuff. Okay, and all that good stuff. So now that's the daily. Now the daily we can understand that. Okay, we took out a low, we took out an old low over here. So that is about that, that is grounds for a retracement. And that that is okay. That is now that's the short term slash long term point of view. Let's look at the short term. So one hour chart. Okay, one hour chart. So when we look at the one hour chart, we're looking at the current the the, the uh, let, 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 let's call it this. Let, we'll we will have one week, one slash two week look back. Okay, one slash two week look back. So we have uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, you know it's ten, right? One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So this is one week's. Uh, uh, two weeks worth of data. Okay, this is two weeks worth of data. So just based on these two weeks worth of data, I right, just based on these two weeks worth of data, we need to see how can we go about uh, looking at structure. Okay, how can we go about looking at structure? Fine. We have this. We have this high. Right. We have this low. Right there. We broke this low. We have a low here. Lower high, we broke this one. Okay, then we have a low here. Lower high, we broke this one. Now we have a low here. And what's the next one? Here. Okay, and then we broke that. Now see, now look at this. Okay, this larger one is part of a high time frame of this. Now, if you're looking at it from one hour, uh, from one hour perspective, look at this. Take out this high. So we have high. Low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, 
higher, high, higher low. Look at the amount of buying opportunities that you have. Okay. Now the draw liquidity is your higher time frame point of interest. Okay, your drawn liquidity is the higher time frame point of interest. That is where price is being drawn to, and then you see the reversal. Okay, and then you see the reversal. So that is exactly how you should be looking at structure. Now, this is the one hour. So one hour basically it means you can look at intraday expansions, intercession expansions, and all of that good stuff, right? So over here, let me change the color if I can. Can I? Yes, I can. Over here, you can buy. Over here, you can buy. Over here. You can buy. So look at the buying opportunity. You, you could have enjoyed this entire move, this entire move, right? And then if you looked at the high time frame, you can then enjoy this sell off. Okay, you can then enjoy this sell off. That is exactly how structural points work. Okay, now that is basic structure. Now that is how you should be looking at price in terms of high, high, high lows, low highs, low lows, right? But now what about institutional market structure? That is, Part of ICT's thing, right? So for that, you guys have got to check out my one of my old videos on that, and you guys have to check out ICT. So I can't teach that in detail because it's not mine to teach. But all I can say is you're going to be looking for a three bar swing. Okay, an example would be one, two, and a potential three. Okay, that's just not saying it's going to happen, but I'm just showing you an example. All right. Let's see, let's look at an example of something that, ha that has already happened over here. Something that has already happened. One, two, three. Okay. So the initial one is a fake out. This is the stop hunt, and this is the real move. And once that third swing point has formed, that is when you get that extended reaction. Okay. When you have the third swing point, that is exactly where I, when and where I'm going to be getting your extended reaction in price. All right. So I hope this helped you guys because it certainly does help me a lot when it comes to my trading, right? So this is the one hour chart of things. We saw the four hour chart of things. Now let's look at the 15 minute chart of things, okay? Now when we look at the 15 minute chart of things, you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna be focusing on the, 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 the more recent price section, like the previous days, two days ago, three days ago. To make it simple, let's have a one week look back, a five day look back, all right? A five day look back starting from today's price action. So over here, five days is one, two, three, four, and five over here. So across these five days, we can see that we had bullish structure here and then we sold, right? We sold off, bearish structure. Now, if you consider what's happening right now, we have low, high, low, low, higher, high, okay? And then we have a higher low. And then price is just going higher, okay? Price is just going higher. Now, if you zoom out a bit and see, the actual external pools of liquidity high right high low 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 high bearish right bearish so over here you want to be looking to sell to get below what this low all right then over here we have high low 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 high high Higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. So that gives you an idea of uh, bullish structure, bullish order flow, right? Now there are ways in which you can get in these type of moves. These, these are continuation profiles. I can't I can't speak about them on YouTube, but I'm just saying they are continuation profiles. I can also look at my mentorship, but I'm just saying they are continuation profiles. So there are reversal profiles and there are continuation profiles. And no, I do not use it like ICD. I have my own uh, set of things that I look for. Uh, but that's all I'm going to say about that. But yeah, so this is how structure actually works. Okay, this is how structure actually works. This is how you should be looking at it. All right. And if you were to look at institutional structure, here it is: one, two, three, sell off. One, two, three, rally. That is institutional market structure. And then what you do from there is you go to the high time frame and you look at, you know, is there any, is, is, is there a schematic of a swing high and swing low formation from an institutional standpoint, right? Or from an institutional framework that is yet to be complete, right? So I hope this helped you guys, right? I hope this, I really hope this helped you guys uh, look at market structure in a different way. And I'm 100% I'm gonna give you guys more videos on uh, new topics, right? So this is the first one out of many, 
right? So to summarize, all you have to know is if you're bullish, you look for bullish order flow or bullish structure. If you're bearish, you're looking for bearish order flow or bearish structure, right? And you, you incorporate your smart money tools, your smart money ideas, smart money methodologies, whatever you want to call it uh, after that. Okay, so with that, guys, I hope you like this. Uh, uh, do share it with everyone that you know, like, comment, and subscribe. You know, push my uh, push my channel a bit in the algorithm, you know, so that I can uh, get that, you know, that push that motivation to help you guys out even more because uh, I might slowly shift into uh, public, public teachers, right? All right, that's all. So, see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.